You could also be all the Sesame Street characters. If I dressed up like Cookie Monster, you better believe I'd have like a whole bag of cookies with me and I wouldn't hand them out. I'd eat them all myself because I'm a pig. <laughs> All right, guys, today I am at the Sooner Mall in Norman, Oklahoma. There it is right there, Sooner, where we are going in to hopefully sooner than later find the spirit Halloween that graces the hallways. Thank you, automatic doors. Aha, I see the fright in the box adorning the hall out here, just waiting for us to enter. Hello, Fright in a Box. How absolutely awesome is it, guys, that they have him right out here. So very cool. All right, let's go ahead in, guys. And right in the front, we have Mr. Grimm. And I've heard him. Here he goes. He's not moving while well, his jaw is moving. But he's still talking about being careful where we tread on this dark night. We have this spooky hanging nurse here. And who's on the back? Oh, Reaper with wings. Let's see if he actually works here. No, I guess not. I know I've seen him in action before, but I honestly don't remember if his wings actually move. And we have this spooky hanging fellow over here. Oh, this is the leg kicker, guys. Let's see if he works. Where's the button? Yep, he's kicking. He's a kicker. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead in, guys, and see what all we can find in this awesome Spirit Halloween in the Sooner Mall in Norman, Oklahoma. It would be totally rad if they had that Sanderson Sisters pop that I passed up the other day, and I do not see it. They just have the one that's new for this year. They do have Chuckles, though. Plenty of chuckles. Oh, and look what we have right here, guys. We have a Tombstone of Terror. We have a Nozzles the Clown. Look at this, we have an Evelyn Leach. I have seen her in probably five stores this season, including set up in, I think, two stores. We have a Scary Clown Archway, the Killer Clown's Inflatable, Sinister Spirit Doll, as in from the new Spirit Halloween movie, Stuffed Dummy Prop. Of course, we have the Jumping Spiders, and wait a minute, there's something behind him. What is it? It's a Fright in the Box Inflatable. All right, let's take a little walk around here. Okay, good, it extends throughout there. I thought this was maybe like a super small store for a little bit here, which it is. It's a smaller store, but they still have a lot of stuff, including the chrome ghost face and the inflatable red pupster that I want so bad. We got this creepy clown guy. We have lots of Sam stuff here. Sam sidesteppers, Pennywise sidesteppers, Sam, uh, whatever these are with the blinking pumpkin. We have both of the Sam plushes here. Sam's statue with the alternate head. Michael Myers carving the pumpkin. Hello, Botox. I still haven't bought this guy, but I want to. I also still want to buy this guy. They have a good selection of inflatables, but I don't see anything we haven't seen in other stores. You never know what you're gonna find. We got a bunch of the tombstones. We got Sam up here and Ghostface. The gargoyle, the secret keeping cat. We got the eight foot light up skeleton and the reaper. A plethora of inflatable ghosts and the scary clown and scarecrow archways. This is the cove that I like right here, guys. Look at all the creepy dolls and the zombie babies. I bet you anything we have a secret keeping cat back here somewhere. We have the devil and the vampire door knockers here. These were actually on clearance already in a couple of stores that I've been in. <laughs> Let's see what this one says because I don't know that I've listened very closely. Uh oh, bad words, bad words. I should have known better than to listen to the devil. Oh, hello, are you enjoying that heart snack? 
We have spider-eating zombie babies and a snake, which is taking hold of this one. We also have the burrito baby, and we have a couple of the crawling babies, and it looks like this one's being overtaken by a snake as well. These snakes must be super hungry today. All right, let's take a look at the creepy dolls here. Look at this, they have an awesome selection. We have Eerie Emma here. It looks like we have two Uncle Charlie's, as well as a vintage wolf man, two of the vintage clown dolls. We have a hugs down here, another hugs here, a decrepit haunted doll, and two of the creepy cracked head baby dolls. Oh, and look who's hiding back here, guys. We have two crouchies right here. One two and they both have hair he is 24.99 guys i swear last year he was like almost 40 bucks we also have two of the crouchy plush as well as a skelly bones plush here those are 29.99 they don't even talk or anything but they're totally awesome yeah i'm not talking to you you say bad words all right let's see what else we can find down here we have all the doormats here we have a whole bunch of beetlejuice stuff here including the plush adam and the sandworm we have the ss georgie plush boat is it would you really call that plush i guess you would it's like a stuffed boat we have the beetlejuice sandworm snow globe which is very sparkly I like these too, the sandworm candle holders. These are totally awesome. You have to get those long like taper candles though. Lots of fleece throws here, including the Nightcrawler and Crouchy down here. We got Chucky here. We got Michael Myers, another Michael Myers, a Sam. We got another Sam trick or treat one up here. Friday the 13th over here. Here's another Sam trick or treat. Madame Leota. Let's see Pennywise back there. We got Nightmare on Elm Street, the Haunted Mansion. And of course we have Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters, as well as the Demon Slayer. They got a couple of the vintage masks here. These are actually on clearance in a couple other stores I've been to already. I like these whirl motion projectors here. You set this up like in your yard and aim it at your house and it puts a ton of ghosties on your house. How much is that? $29.99 for that. That is pretty cool. I may actually consider getting one of those. Who do I see down here? But monkey bones, it's double monkey bones. And the Hello Rat. I do believe it's time for me to buy the Hello Rat. He is $14.99 and he's become such a friend this season. His name is Hello Rat. <laughs> Hello Turtle Bones. Hello, Octobones. Guys, I cannot remember if I bought the vintage clown doll or not. I am pretty sure I did. I hate to pass him up if I didn't. I think I'm just gonna have to go through the RV and see if I bought him or not. I really wanna get some of these accessories too, like the fog machines. I love how they have like these giant gallon jugs of fog juice, low-lying fog juice, and they have the regular fog juice. They have black lights over here. Oh, look at this, they even have Wait there a second, Hello Rat. They even have mini strobe lights here. How much are those? $11. Those are cool. And they have fog timers if you just want your fog to go off at certain times. Wait, what is this? Mist maker with lid? I haven't seen this before. Add water, no special liquid? What the heck? That's pretty cool. $24.99. Oh, it's not lid, it's LED. <laughs> I totally read that wrong. Okay, look at these mini strobes for a second, guys. Now beware, these are gonna be strobe lights. These come in different colors, look at this. Just for a second. And then here's another, it's blue. And then what about this one? That, whoa, that one's red again. Okay, okay, I see it's marked on the side what color it is. So this one's a red, this one is blue, this one is green. Lots of blues and reds and greens. I don't see any orange or purple though. Hmm, those are pretty cool though. I might have to pick a couple of these up. Yep, no oranges, no purples. All right, right in the basket. It goes, sorry, hello, rat. Let's get you comfortable in there. Here's the dropping mechanisms. If you want to have like a spider that drops on somebody when they walk through, you hang it up and then it's motion activated and it will drop the spider on them and scare the living crap out of them. All right, let's head down this aisle and see if there's anything awesome down here. Here's a Fortnite impulse grenade. That's pretty cool. They always have lots of Fortnite stuff in here. Fort 
Fortnite and they got Minecraft over here. This is my favorite marshmallow outfit that they have because it's like a, a vampire marshmallow. That is totally cool. What is this plush buddy over here? What the heck? Is this a bee? It's, it's a bee. <laughs> that is too dang funny. I love that. And what the heck? We got this pink one too. I'm sure these are specific characters like from whatever this miraculous thing is. I honestly don't know anything about miraculous, but those are totally cool, especially the bee. Here's the other plush toys we saw in the one store that I thought was hilarious because there's like a killer hammer, a killer axe. There was a killer knife and the other one. And then there's a killer base. Ball. And they're right below the secret keeping cat buckets. And right below those, let's leave some stickers in the bucket. It's funny to me because somebody was saying online like everything is so kitty in here and where's all the scary stuff and of course yes they have some kitty uh costumes and stuff kids go trick-or-treating <laughs> but i mean all you have to do is come back here to the masks and you will see gore and blood and murder i mean oh yeah the undead zombie is definitely a kid's mask yeah this is definitely made for kids bloody knives and machetes are made for kids michael myers you know it's all kids stuff Possessed Chucky dolls, murdering clowns, you know. I mean, especially Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. They're all kids stuff. They're not running around murdering people or anything. Oh, look, we even have the tea party clown sidesteppers. You know, because they're made for kids. Anyway, so back to the kids stuff. We have all the Toy Story costumes here, including Pizza Planet, which is totally awesome. Okay, so I've been looking for the shrunken head, and somebody told me that if they have a Harry Potter section, there's going to be a shrunken head. I don't know why that makes any sense, but I'm looking straight at all the Harry Potter stuff here, and I see no shrunken head whatsoever. I'm also looking at the Powerpuff Girls, and I see no Mojo Jojo! I don't even know if anybody actually gets that Mojo Jojo joke, but if you don't, Go watch some Powerpuff Girls and you'll get it. Mojo Jojo! I do like all the Wizard of Oz stuff. If you had like a, a group of people and you needed a costume for every one of them and you wanted to do like a group thing, we got Glinda here. We got Dorothy here. We got the Cowardly Lion. Let's see who else. We got the Tin Man here and the Scarecrow. And look, we even have the Ruby Slippers. Unless you'd rather dress like Teletubbies, or Scooby-Doo and Mystery Inc., or the Ghostbusters, of course. I really like this jacket. I know I've pointed it out before, but look at this. It comes with the Spangler tag on, but it also comes with a whole group of all the other names, so you could stick it on there if you want. They're like Velcro. And on the back here, we have the awesome Ghostbusters logo. That is totally cool. Or you could also go as the cat in the hat with the whole jumpsuit here. Let's see, I know they have, there we go, cat in a hat, hat right there. There's also gloves right here. Well, that's Mickey Mouse. But anyway, <laughs> I love how they also have the Thing 1 and 2 union suits. So you could have your friends or your kids go as Thing 1 and 2. They even have Thing wigs or, look at this, Thing headbands with little Thing puffs. They're thing puffs. Look at this, they even have thing fur cuffs. You could also be all the Sesame Street characters. If I dressed up like Cookie Monster, you better believe I'd have like a whole bag of cookies with me and I wouldn't hand them out, I'd eat them all myself because I'm a pig. <laughs> Man, and if I dress like Big Bird, you better believe I'd have a whole bag of cookies. You could dress like the Crayola Crayons and have a whole bag of cookies. <laughs> this is cool. We have the Alice in Wonderland costumes here too. This one's just called Down the Rabbit Hole. I guess this is supposed to be Alice. We also have the Queen of Hearts. There's checkered gloves. There's the Mad Hatter. Oh, look at this. We also have the Enchanting Royal Heart Queen. These costumes are all awesome, guys. There's so many different options in here if you're just going by yourself or if you're going with a group. And like I said a million times before, I love the inflatable costumes. Those have got to be my favorites. Except for the taco. Man, if I dress like a taco, you better believe I have a whole bag of tacos. <laughs> all right, guys, I think we have seen 
just about everything that I want to see in this store. I have a couple of things in my cart that I'm going to buy. Oh, I love Ghostface. Look at this. They have the glow-in-the-dark Ghostface in a whole costume. This is a child size, but how cool is that? I made a donation! All right, guys, that was an awesome store. We are taking off here. Hello! Someone's saying hello right here. <laughs> It's always awesome to meet people, guys. And look at this, I totally missed that there is a tombstone of terror right outside the door. All right, guys, one last look at the awesome Spirit Halloween. All right, let's get out of here. Lots more Spirit Halloween stores to go to. Thank you, Automatic Doors. Stick around, guys. Next up, store number 79.